<clears throat> Looks like we're live. Welcome everyone to the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Ale Wolf, otherwise known as Ales, Gentleman Streamer, the No Throne Cicerone, Brewmaster for the Order of the Shield Lycan. And welcome back to Thursday. Welcome back to the block that I like to call the Modern Speakeasy. Uh, which simply means that I'll be playing a game consistently, and it is uh, moderately, uh, moderately modern. I, I like that. I like that. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful Thursday. Wait a second. It's not Thursday. It's Friday. That. Sorry. I, I should. I should lighten the mood. It is. It is Friday. Um, welcome to Friday, <laughs> and uh, welcome to the chat, Dorkmander. Hi, I was just swinging by to show some support lurking while I do some stuff in the background, but good luck with those runs. Thank you very much for uh, uh, your presence, Dork Mander. Uh, don't, don't feel like you need to hang out if you need to do other stuff, but uh, certainly appreciate your support every time uh, you're around. Hopefully you're having an amazing Friday and have an even better weekend ahead of you. Um, so yeah, today, uh, today is Friday. Uh, Today, I'm actually doing a fairly short stream, I want to say, and simply because, uh, unfortunately, I had to do a few errands early th earlier this morning. Uh, but you know what? I, I really wanted to squeeze in some time to get in one more stream. I think I want to stick to the idea of doing two streams per week at least, and even though they might be a little bit short, you know what? It, it's okay. At least I actually get to check in, and it is something for me to look forward to. Uh, in terms of other things... Um, you know, today uh, today does happen to be uh, uh, our friend Bacon's uh, 13th birthday. Uh, some of those of you that might remember uh, might recall that he passed away a little bit over a month ago. Uh, I really don't want to uh, say too much more other than to commemorate his, his memory uh, <laughs> lest I start weeping again. Uh, but yeah, happy birthday, old boy. And, and maybe I'll do a toast. Uh, I'll, I'll toast to that and rather than just uh, give an empty message here. Um, yeah, but before we go on to the, <laughs> the toasting here, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's actually just move on to the toast. Uh, what are we drinking today? Uh, I was honestly thinking about something, something with a bit of an edge. And then I saw this uh, character with a chainsaw, and I said, "Well, that, that's that's enough of an edge here. This one is called a uh, bunny with a chainsaw, um, which is this is kind of the way in which you attract my attention at a at a beer shop. You give me a, an interesting logo, and there's uh, there's very few things that are as shocking as seeing a, a cute rabbit with a with a chainsaw. So, uh, contrary to what uh, the can actually shows, this is actually a hazy IPA." Um, it's actually a double dry hopped hazy IPA, a mighty 8.2% alcohol by volume. So, uh, what exactly is this hazy IPA? What, what, are you, what are you talking about, Ale? This, this, this makes no sense to me. I know nothing about beers. In fact, they offend me. And to that I say, well, to each their own. But if you want to hear a uh, story, here it is. Uh, hazy IPAs are dissimilar to standard IPAs in the fact that rather than use their hops, significantly during the boiling process and making the beer bitter. It, they actually use the hops during the fermentation process, which allows the hops to actually bestow on the beer more aromatic and flavor notes, generally floral uh, flavors and tropical, tropical notes as well, things like pineapple, orange, uh, and very delicious stuff. They're very popular in craft breweries. And I guess the, the thing that they say is that if you walk into any craft breweries, you'll find uh, half the menu is full of hazy IPAs because they're popular and you know <clears throat> I don't disagree with the idea I do understand that they're you know a little bit uh, overplayed but sometimes overplayed is good uh, burgers are good french fries are good pizza is good they're overplayed too um, but those are my thoughts on hazy IPAs um, let's see what Untapped has to say on this particular entry right here <laughs> And actually, not much. 
all it says is at 8.2 percent alcohol by volume and it is an imperial and generally when you see the moniker of imperial on a beer it rarely means too much of anything other than high alcohol and i want to say that at least in my experience anything above an eight percent is considered imperial or at least will have will have the uh, notoriety of having the imperial moniker attached to it i think it was classically attached to like stouts like imperial russian stouts but these days you see that thrown around all the time let's say that this is an imperial stream for no particular reason um but all that being said let's go ahead and taste what this is like i've got my fancy tulip glass from from blue oak over here one other thing about hazy IPAs is that generally they're not filtered. Uh, whenever you drink a, com a conventional beer, uh, you'll notice that it's clear and relatively transparent. Uh, hazy IPAs, kind of like wheat beers, are unfiltered, which means that what you have, what you get from the fermentation tank, is what you get in your can or bottle. You know, uh, before I begin a stream, I always select the songs at random. Uh, I actually just throw a throw dice, a virtual dice, and then to just select a song from my playlist. And uh, it just so happened that today's song was Sorry, which is a song that I specifically put into my playlist because, uh, uh, because it was the day that I was supposed to announce that uh, uh, my friend had passed away. So in terms of a uh, floral notes here, like I said, I want to say it's very fresh, come on, kind of like a peach, uh, peach flesh, maybe some tangerine orange in terms of a uh, sweetness. And like I said, very cloudy. You can't actually see through it. It's very, it's relatively thick <sighs> to the one that I lost along the way. So yeah, good citrus notes. Um, uh, I want to say good grapefruit flavors as well. And I detect that from the bitterness towards the end. A good hefty body. Three out of five in terms of body composition. Uh, it opens with sweetness and ends with bitterness, which is kind of an interesting mix. I want to say some, some showcasing of the alcohol there. And I guess it makes sense because it, it is a pretty high alcohol rating. I generally like it when my beers hide their alcohol, but but this is fine. This is good. I en I enjoy it. Indeed, Dorklander, happy birthday, Bacon. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So what am I gonna give this? Uh, what am I gonna give this bunny with a chainsaw? Last time I had it, it was a three. I think it's sticking with me a bit more today. Let's give it a 3.25. Okay. And let's go ahead and update the old, old ticker. Just in case anybody, anybody new popping on stream uh, wonders, hey, what is this, uh, what is this uh, person uh, drinking? I'm going to look at this ticker and they'll look up their answer. Uh, but that's enough about drinks and being a, a sad, sad drunk. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to Hades. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I guess one last thing before we actually get started. I did go ahead and post a question of the night uh, in, uh, I guess, in uh, evoking the thought of Halloween, which is next week. What is your favorite candy? If I were to name a candy, and I'm not the biggest candy uh, uh, person, but I do enjoy, <clears throat> very simply, sweet tarts. I feel like I, whenever I was uh, a bit younger, I would grab a roll of those and just eat the whole thing. And it's just like a burst of freshness. Um, 
All that being said, in terms of chocolate bars, probably Kit Kats are my favorite. And uh, the plain ones are just fine, but then when you go traveling, specifically in Japan, they have some very nice uh, Kit Kat flavored combinations. Um, so yeah, uh, Sweet Tart and Kit Kats are my favorites. Tell me, tell me yours. So we're currently in the middle of a run. I named this run Adamant But Frail. And the reason for that is because I've started using the Adamant Rail. Um, some of the some of you might recall that my new goal for Hades is uh, the idea of beating the game with uh, every single weapon. And it's not because it means anything to anyone anymore, but I feel like even though I play I overplayed Hades at this point, it's a very fun game, so I might as well just give myself a goal. And having defeated the game with the Shield of Chaos, we're moving on with the Adamant Rail, which seems to agree with me. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Gunlance, for those of you hunting out there. Um, of course, starting in the middle of a run, I have to remind myself what I have on. And here's your um, daily PSA, drink water, stay healthy, drink responsibly, stay hydrated. So lightning strike, we've got a lightning strike on our attack. Um, a special is actually from Demeter and it inflicts chill. Then we've got the shot, which is actually Athena's deflect, which is nice. I don't know that I ever throw my cast out just expecting that it'll deflect things in front of me. My dash is a thunder dash, which is also a gift from Zeus. Then we've got dark thirst, which is uh, from the mirror aspect of Eris, which is the aspect that we're running with and the aspect that I, I am favoring right now. Essentially, every time you walk into your blast, you gain power, and it's 15% for me. I should probably power that up. Popper's favor, boons have 18% chance to be rare or better. I think that uh, might be from uh, Lord Chaos. Triple Bomb, you can use your special three times in rapid succession, which is actually something that I'm relishing right now. It's essentially like... Uh, uh, fireworks every time you, you shoot it. We've got Abyssal Flourish. Special deals 56% more damage. It's actually quite significant. And then finally, Strong Drink, because we could all use a Strong Drink. Every time we drink Fountain, it restores all of our health and gives bonus damage. Currently, we've got <clears throat> all of our Death Defiances. Yeah, and uh, I think I think we're in pretty good shape right now. Of course, this might be taken away by Elysium because Elysium tends to do that to us. But you know what? Stranger things have happened. All right, so let's see. That's pretty cool. So it's either so coin or Hermes. I think we're gonna go with Hermes for this one. Wait, <laughs> I literally just like uh, readjusted myself in my seat, and I guess I randomly pressed the altar button. <sighs> Too bad. I would have enjoyed a Hermes. gifts allowed I guess not today okay
Always enjoyed a chat with Athena. She's always been very supportive. Holy shield, after you take damage, damage foes around you and briefly deflect. So this is actually pretty solid. That defiance restores more and resists damage from traps. 60%. Uh, we're out of Asphodel, which is very, which sure footing would have been better there. I think we're going to go with Holy Shields. Anything of interest here? Just some eggs. And what is this? Restore up to, I don't think I need to restore anything. So it's either money or a heart of the centaur. Probably should get some more money, actually. Probably. You gotta have money. Apologies for that. Um, long time viewers of the stream will also recall that I've got a very sensitive throat. <clears throat> nice, nice. <clears throat> Am I eating too much candy? Welcome to the stream, Falco Forte. How are you doing this fine afternoon? <clears throat> Boy. <clears throat> yeah, it literally is. I'll just randomly gasp at the wrong time and I'll just hack like an old man, which I may be already. Let's see, a palm of power or Mm, I think let's go with a palm of power, which I used to think was a pizza. You can never go wrong with pizza. Let's see. Sleepy. LOL. I'm never not sleepy, so it's nothing new. You know what? I think I was having this conversation with somebody the other day. I don't know at what point my normal became being tired. And it's unfortunate because I guess my normal will never be not being tired. I know that that doesn't make too much sense, but... Yeah, I think I just kind of wake up tired and I think I only get better through caffeine or like extreme joy, which rarely happens. <clears throat> I need to use my cast more often. What is this guy even doing? Is that it? No, of course not. <clears throat> Palm of power. <sighs> so I think let's just keep all of these around the same. <clears throat> so let's get our thunder dash to level two as well. Everything is so pumped up. All right, so it's either money or a battle after which we will encounter Zeus. Let's try to see if we can meet uncle. He needs something, he needs a present. Hmm, of course. Sure. 
Mm, a challenge. Are you ready for a challenge? This guy. I am not doing a very good job here. Oof. And there we go. I gotta find a better way to aim my... Oh, great. Oof, I knew I couldn't escape that one. Ah, just before the round end. I am disappointed in myself. Please see me after class. <clears throat> Ooh, your phalanx shot cast bounces between nearby foes. I don't think I've seen... Oh, it's a faded choice as well. I feel like these ones are more rare, so there's a there's a lesser chance of me seeing it, even though I actually want the high voltage. <sighs> Let's just go for it. Let's bite the bullet. I feel like this run is already cursed. Of course, that's exactly what I said the first time I beat this game, so... To cursed runs. I can't believe I lost two of them on this fight. Okay, where are we now? Just give them hell. Is it? Blast. Boom. Okay. Palm acquired. But once again, I'm just uh, taking too much damage. I think one of the things that I'm struggling with is um, back when I had the Shield of Chaos, it was very simple for me to just stand and guard and wait for the right moment. Whereas for this one, I'm co constantly just having to dash away. Whew, okay. Uh, I feel like we need to power up our attack. I don't know. <clears throat> can't get shields out of my head. Okay, so more Palm of Power. Or a visit with uh, Hermes. This might be good for us to ev evade some more. Boom. 
What am I doing? I mean, other than enjoying my life slash wasting it, what am I doing? Ooh, Chaos Gate. Who's next? Ah, oh, these shielded guys. Wow, so many. <clears throat> and that was abysmal. doesn't have the time to sit down and sip some nectar. <clears throat> the underworld is an orderly place, but the souls of the dead must first be brought to its brink. He has much to do with this. He seems to have ingratiated himself to the boatman, Charon, notoriously unapproachable even by the underworld's own. Thus, it is my belief that Hermes, besides his many talents, is the god of more than he appears. I have to tell you, you look awful, cuz. You're barely holding on. Let's see if we can't perk you right back up. I uh, can't disagree. So, gain a bit more wealth. Your special is faster. That could be good. After you dash, you become sturdy and move 100% faster. That might actually save our skin. I think we're kind of done for this run, though. You know, technically, if I take this, I would just die. Ah, oh, come on. Just let me do it. A classy way to perish. Okay, let's see how far we can go. Time to turn it all around. Ooh, can I actually alter this? Oh, come on. Why do you hurt me like that? Ooh. Ah, and it's a fountain. And because we've got strong drink, look at that. There's always a chance. Always a chance. Now, if we could meet Patroclus, uh, we'd be back on our feet. Let's go see what Athena is got to say oh nothing I guess we're going to fight uh, I mean the boss that is <clears throat> death defines your stores more hearts than usual and you replenish one use your abilities that can deflect also make foes exposed when you deflect attacks it deals more damage Let's go with last stand. But this is it. This is it, Luigi. <sighs> Let's see what we have learned. Ooh, and it's um, it's not a nectar. It's um, I forget what the ambrosia. That's what it is. Ambrosia. Sometimes you say these words, and they kind of just like. They, they're just nice to say. They, they feel very stimulating, like ambrosia or like melange. Maybe it's just that sound at the end. I don't know. You tell me. Let me know in the comments. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I wish I had a call right about now. So let's slow this guy down. Oof. Oh, come on. Oof. Great. Ah, why did I have to take a fight to them? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oof. My range is not good enough. He's too fast. He's out. Ah, deathified. Oof. Where is he? Come on, why you little? Boom, right by the skin of my teeth there. Ah, <sighs> that was wild. Always thankful, forever thankful. And a fountain. I wonder how those conversations go. Ooh, and a bit more from our strong drink. And so at this point, it doesn't make sense for us to use, continue to use this clear one encounter to rank it up. Let's keep it for next round. Let's go ahead and use uh, the dog tooth since it'll give us one extra life. So we might not be at full, but we've got one death defiance and that's better than no death defiances. So restore the next boon, you have upgraded rarity. <coughs> This might be cool. Ah, but then there's the superstore in, in the next level, so maybe not. 
the superstore or what I like to call the Costco of Hades. You know, I might have to remap the reload button. I was watching this video about the adamant rail and they said that it doesn't make sense to have it on the right stick. And I think I'm starting to agree with that. Let's see what's for sale today. Uh, we could buy something from Hermes. I wonder what it is. Or we could get two palms. We could get two palms and a Demeter. That's always nice. Okay, let's do that. That's uh, rough words there for your brother. siblings <clears throat> if you have no debt defiance your heart slowly recover that's kind of cool Ooh, and Demeter's aid uh, I don't know I don't know that that would be enough to take me out of the brink of death after you take damage completely chill your foe Nah, might as well go for it it's flashy we like flashy. Uh, but I must. But I must. Okay, and we've got a hundred left. I might as well buy the one hundred one, but not yet. I'm a, I might want to go for the three hundred. Let's go find one with coin. Coin, coin, coin. Ooh, and a hammer of Daedalus. Let's do it. You know, one nice thing about the fact that these are... Is that because these are very tiny rooms, I can just bomb everything. That's ridiculous. They kind of just crowd me like crazy. Wait, where are they? Nice. Here shopping for a fountain very soon. A fountain head. There you go, for your troubles. What are you what are you guys even doing in there? What is this superpower rat? Wow. Oof. I really had to do that.
What is this thing? These guys are crazy. Last chance. Well, at least I will have regenerating energy. That's something, right? I need to find the poison thing. <sighs> okay, that's that was tough. And only have the one life left. I doubt that that boon actually works while I'm uh, not fighting. But it would be nice if it did. Okay, so we've got some extra coin. But if only I had four more coins, I would have the 300 necessary to actually complete that sale. Ah, that's unfortunate. Waste not, want not. So yeah, let's hold up for the 300. This is Sparta after all. And just a second here, folks. Okay. Uh, let's go after the... I, I'm probably gonna be a masochist here. Let's go for the Hammer of Daedalus. The safe choice would probably be the Centaur Heart. got access to a well but <sighs> this might be useful right now ah it's so hard let's keep moving let's hope that we find enough for that 300 This is such a tiny room. How is it even living here? Nice. Okay, and we got enough coin actually. Hopefully this is the final room. Oh jeez, it's one of these. Okay, not too bad. <sighs> we made it, and this is where it is. <sighs> Let's see, are any of these faded choices first of all? No. Your attack deals damage in an area and briefly slows foes. So that might be useful. Attack is a three round burst, but you never have to reload. That sounds awesome. Your special becomes a rocket that also deals. Now, let's go with Delta Chamber. So what's that like? Oh, it's, that's pretty cool. You just hold the button, I guess. And of course a fountain a bit more damage for our troubles. Let's go buy that uh, Pama Power and then let's go meet Dad. Oh, and I hear a fish. How I wish I wish I had a fish. And it's another gup.
Okay, so more revenge damage, better thunder dash. Let's go for the lightning strike. Okay, let's see what that has to say about this. My knee toy. I wonder if he ever uh, doesn't accept it. Like, uh, here's a treat, boy. Actually, I don't know that I've ever had an instance where either of my boys ever rejected a single thing of food. No, wait, let me let me correct that. There was this one time where we gave bacon a uh, cooked mushroom, and uh, yeah, he didn't like he doesn't like mushrooms, or he didn't like mushrooms. That's fine. To each their own. But frail. Besides, making these tracks helps pass the time during the ongoing underworld renovations. And I'll be in tip top shape once they're complete. Would that we had a little more support. The renovations could have been complete by now. As ever, you think only of yourself. But if you must insist like this, then you will find me waiting for you once you get here. Every single So be it. Oof, where? Is fast. Oof. Where is he? Ah, my range is just butt. Oh, come on. He is tough. Only half the time. This battle sure is taking longer than most. Oh, come on. Oh, again. Can't believe I just ate that.
move. Down he goes. <sighs> now that's a line that I've got to use with the young ones. Oh, what? I got hit twice by the same wave? Gotta stay away from these things. What? Great. S stay behind. I guess the pillars blocked me from sending the thing over. Gotta stay away. Move. Oh, come on. Oh no, more of these. Where is he? Wow! This battle is taking so long. Ah, more of these. Oh, great. Ah, I feel like I was doing so well just there. Wild. Good question. Hide, hide. Boom. Wow. 
Oh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you, Dorfmander. <laughs> Once again, I uh, there was so many things that I should have done that I didn't do. Um, but yeah, first win with the adamant rail. So this is cool. This is very good. You were so nervous. Yeah, I I literally was trying to like attack and dodge and attack and dodge and there was a few times where I was just going a little too ambitious. I felt like my standard attack just lacked that extra bit of range that I could have uh, enjoyed, but it, it just, that's just part of the fact that I'm not so familiar with the adamant rail. But yeah, appreciate uh, appreciate you sharing in the the tension. All right, goodness. Yeah, I, I know what happened here. We're good, we're good. I honestly thought it was gonna take me a bit longer, but okay. Proof that it's not over until it's over. Yeah, it, it was supposed to be a cursed run, so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> this is actually kind of sad because this means that I have to move on to the next weapon and I was, I feel like I was just getting the hang of this. Of course, I don't have to, but I have to. I don't know. Maybe I'll try something else for the next, for the rest of this run at least. How far can we get today? I know the feeling. That's probably the first time, the first thing that I said when I first encountered vegetables. It was uh, <laughs> very painful. <laughs> and came 
came to reside here. Above the notice of the underworld. Beneath the notice of Olympus. Checks out. Why would Father lie to you if he never wanted you or never wanted me? Surely he had the means. I don't know. I'm wondering the same. But oh, look at you, Zagreus. We're running out of time. It's happening again. Stay with me, please. I'm trying. what you asked of me why he would lie tell him I must know the same as you and you farewell until we meet again until then In your friendly PSA, um, call your moms. Sometimes it's challenging, but uh, make their day. I like that rationale. I can't fire you because I can't find somebody else to do your job. So, uh, go do your job. <laughs> That server is now frequently rest at his master's side also suggests the underworld has new vulnerabilities, a source of some concern to the Lord Hades, who understandably takes pride in his domain's imposing reputation. I thought I was supposed to find something here. How do I get to that room over there? That's my question. Security log. Permanent record. So, two clears. One with the Shield of Chaos after 57 attempts. And uh, once with the Adamant Rail after 7 attempts. So clearly I chose my uh, weapon of choice wrong at the beginning. Maybe, maybe not. We love our shields here at the Ailes and Veils Twitch stream. Here, here. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't know that there's an actual way to get there. Very strange. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> Achilles. No, imagine that. Uh, no matter what, Achilles will always be my favorite character uh, in this game. So encouraging. Nothing more inspiring than a song in your heart. <clears throat> I empathize with his desire for reunion with the shade of one he has loved and lost. But, sometimes, I fear that Orpheus seems to have lost more than his love. I pray that he shall find his muse, eventually. You gotta believe me, man. Only today? It's like, all right. Do not sing my praises today. Oh, look at that, that's wild. To be perfectly honest with you, I've been trading off all my gems anyways for better stuff. I'll go back to these when I have more reagents to spend. Lay it on me. Keep taking away my key cards. That you are stripped of your authority is what makes this possible at all. You shall require a significant expenditure of darkness. Then the bridge to chaos will be restored. So that I might travel again to visit them. Will you bring darkness to the sigil for me, please? Impossible. Uh how much darkness are we talking about? Hey, there we go. So shall it be. Prophecy foretold. Let's see, how much does it actually cost? Oh, all of these nice things. A flower vase, rose. Enjoyed by some hounds with one or more heads. A plaything, a plush. Maybe it's not here. Wait, 
Tao Tsek Stygian Bone Work Ominous. But which one of these is the bridge? Darker Thirst. That's pretty solid. I'm confused. Lounge. Huh. Well, I gotta say, I'm not seeing it. Okay, so somehow I, I have to find a work order that allows me to upgrade the sigil. So did I not see that? I feel like it should be under work orders. Great Hall, West Hall. Lounge. Maybe I just need to buy more things so that it actually shows up. Which I guess I'm not doing right now. If it was pathetic, but a little bit. Very much worth it. it ah, some fish for your troubles. Let's see if there's anything worth exchanging today. Hopefully a deal. Three Sothonic keys for 25 darkness. That's pretty good. And we've got the one Ambrosia for a Nectar. I feel like maybe I should keep around the Ambrosia since I know that they're used to unlock um, things with different characters. And I feel like I have enough Titan Bloods to power up my arms anyways. <coughs> So let's get some more nectar, so some nectarines. Don't really need those keys that much anymore anyways. And let's see if we can reveal anything with the mirror. No, I think we're fine. We're fine. Night in darkness, the son of the god of the dead shall make certain attempts to aid our mother night, who through course of time has grown far apart from chaos, her parent and origin of all things. Okay, so find a way to reunite Nyx and Chaos and Orpheus and Eurydice. What about Achilles and Patroclus? Praise the revelry. Employ the house contractor to help renovate the lounge. Okay, so I need to renovate the lounge. Oh, look at that. For God of the Heavens and the Sea, I need one more. As well as love. Power without equal. Divine pairings. That one is definitely going to take a while. Primordial boons. From Lord Chaos. Stygian Blade, Heart Seeking Bow, Eternal Spear, Twin Fists, Adamant Rail. <clears throat> Break free using all of the Infernal Arms, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. If 
Island passed harsh conditions. I'm not ready to take on the pact of punishment. Customer loyalty. I guess I need touch of sticks, night spindle, and flame wheels release. Close at heart. Okay, so let's go back and try to spend some gems on uh, the lounge. And of course, uh, we can buy a lot of nothing. Fair enough. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to think what would be the good, uh, the best choice for the next weapon. I'm really interested in the twin fists, but I feel like I need to go with another easy weapon before going to that one. <clears throat> Oh, I do love my shields. Maybe the spear. Actually, maybe the uh, the bow might be good. Let's go, Coronet. Coronet. How's it going? Let's see. Your special automatically seeks the foe. The aspect of Hera. Your cast loads to your next attack, firing on impact. So this might be good. Hmm. And it takes two bloods. This might be a good way to spend my casts. Which actually let me let me take a look here. See I've been following this uh, YouTube person that kind of has uh Recommended best aspects. Best aspect for what is this? The heart corona aspect. Corona. Uh, Chiron. Let's go with videos. And I'm loading a an ad because of course I don't have the power to stop ads. Hopefully everyone's having a swell Friday. Uh, hopefully you've got some fun plans for this evening. I don't have too many plans myself other than maybe uh, getting some food delivery. Don't know what that might be yet. I feel like every time I think about um, what's good on a Friday, I'm, I'm kind of just thinking about like pizza because pizza is always good. It's good comfort food. So Chiron. Uh huh. Seems like all the bows are. So your special automatically seeks the foe last struck. The thing, the thing about that is, I I feel like my special is really good for handling mobs. So I think I'm gonna go with the aspect of Hera. Let's do that. And let's spend some, let's go up to level three. Look at that, 70. Oof. So I just gotta remember to, um, to load it before I start. Well, you seems like you have something to say, Skelly.
what might that be? Sorry, folks. Got to deal with a bit of real life here. Well, don't say it that way, Zagreus. And Skelly, we've got two hearts. Honestly, I don't really see a need to increase uh, his heart levels just yet. All right, and keepsake. I feel like let's power up. Let's finish powering up the Zeus one. And I'm going to say that given this, this is our first run here, we don't need to use the Pact of Punishment. Not a chance. Not a chance. Uncle Zeus. your new favorite son, uncle. Lord Hades bears no love for him, for reasons I can scarce begin to contemplate. It is as though Lord Hades chooses willingly not to consort with the Olympians. Do some damage. Your attack emits chain lightning, and I like that. Special, of course, is good. And your cast is a burst. Let's go with obviously the epic one. Oh gosh, I didn't see that guy there. And the thunder signets leveled up, which means that it is at its highest level. I guess I do like Coronach just simply because it gives me some range. To be perfectly honest with you, I think when I was uh, initially like surveying weapons, the reason why I like uh, the, the Shield of Chaos, other than the fact that I'm obsessed with shields, is the fact that it could fly. Um, and so maybe I have a thing of, for uh, ranged weapons in this game. But I guess all that will change once I'm done with uh, the Heart Seeking Bow. Nice. And we're hitting the 130 mark. I think it's time for a quick bio break. Let's do one more room. Oh, let's alter this. I don't like darkness. Or actually, I do like darkness. I just don't like it as much as a lot of other things. Ooh, that's good. A trade up. these guys even holding there oh come on it's 
So I just used the adamant rail and I keep I feel like I keep trying to reload when I don't actually have to reload with this thing. Okay, let's uh let's leave it right here. Uh, let's do one one last quick shear. Fang and ale, dear viewer. Uh, I will be back in five or six minutes, yeah, maybe like seven minutes, uh, and we'll continue this Hades run. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you there. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Alewolf, otherwise known as Ales, gentleman streamer, barstool philosopher, highly functional alcoholic. And welcome back to the stream, folks, and welcome back, of course, once again, more importantly, to Friday. Here's hoping that you've got some fun plans ahead of you. Uh, we're in the middle of a Hades run. Kind of been a bit of a high here since we actually just beat the game with the adamant rail which is something that we hadn't accomplished before and now we're trying to do the same with the with coronacht the heart seeking bow um so i guess we're in a bit of a ranged weapon kick uh, but you know what uh, well eventually do some hand-to-hand -hand combat some fisty cuffs if you will uh, but yeah before we actually get on that let's go ahead and talk about what's next on tap this one is uh, called a churro, please. You can see the, the label at the bottom there. And uh, I don't know what the artwork is supposed to be. It's like this uh, space theme death wizard with like a hourglass and vampire wings. I don't know, it's out there. It felt pretty 80s to me. And uh, this one is actually a stout with cinnamon and natural flavors. It is a solid, what is it, a solid? 7.8% alcohol by volume, which means that it is not imperial. But you know what, when you're that close, I'm gonna say you're imperial anyway. So what exactly is a stout? You might be asking yourself, uh, you're like, oh, is, is a stout like a robust thing? Is it like a thick thing? Is it like just like a plump kind of drink? Well, no, that's a weird thing to say about a lot of drinks. But uh, what a stout is, it is a beer, specifically an ale made of uh, a certain designation of malts that brew dark. They brew opaque, come think like something like coffee or something like cola. And those malts tend to be crystal malts or chocolate malts. And uh, there are a lot of times when you actually roast them. In fact, some might say that the difference between porters and stouts are the fact that even though they use the same malts, uh, you actually roast your malts for stouts. Now, there's a wide variety of stouts. There actually, there's a, a, there's a plethora really of like different flavors that you can achieve. And a lot of that depends on what you throw in there. So you might not necessarily use barley, but you use things like, um, what am I thinking? Oatmeal. Uh, you have oatmeal stouts, which are quite delicious. A little bit grainy, a little bit more like cereal. You have a coffee stouts, which have, well, they're generally called breakfast stouts. And um, yeah, they have very strong coffee characters, some bitterness to them. And then you have things like pastry stouts, which are a little bit sweeter. They're modeled to, t to taste something like a pastry that you might have. And I'm thinking that churro please is actually within the category of pastry stouts since churros uh, for all intents and purposes are pastries uh there's one other stout that i really like uh, it's called uh milk stouts and milk stouts are actually brewed with lactose and lactose is the sugar of course that gives you milk uh they're very milky and i do love my milky milky stouts so <clears throat> other than that yeah they they brew dark they showcase their sugars as opposed to their bitterness and they're very heavy they're generally thick and i want to say they're very high in alcohol and because they have such a thick body they hide their alcohol well which uh, makes them nice they also generally pair well with the process of barrel aging but those are my thoughts on stouts let's see what untapped has to say on the matter over here let's pull it over <laughs> Okay, churro please, and uh, once again, no description. But it is by Lead Dog Brewing. I'm gonna say our friends at Lead Dog Brewing because we love dogs. And it is actually a pastry stout, much like I guessed. Uh, again, 7.8% alcohol by volume and only 20 international bittering units, which is actually not too much. Let's go ahead and taste this and see what's, see what's the story. What's the NPR story here? Of course, the can only opened halfway. I'm always very wary when the lip of the can doesn't open th fully because that means that I will have to actually use my thumb to push through it. And it's not the first time that I pushed a 
metal top through a can and I've actually hurt my finger so I'm always very concerned of doing that. Now of course it says that this particular stout is brewed with cinnamon. Cinnamon! Everyone's favorite tree bark. Actually, I'm going to correct that. Everyone except my SO. She uh, she doesn't care for cinnamon. She she doesn't like the taste of cinnamony things. I feel like I could toss cinnamon in anything that is sweet, and it will make it immediately better. But uh, yeah, she uh, she thinks quite the opposite. But you know what? That's okay because uh, uh, I married her, so that's fine. And of course, uh, like I said, this is quite opaque. It's got a rich head in terms of a nose. I want to say it very strong cinnamon. It actually smells like baked bread, baked bread and cinnamon, like a cinnamon bun, if you will, or a cinnabun. Uh, Fang and ale, dear viewer. Very rich, very very heavy, quite malty. I want to say this one is quite thick. It's a body four out of five in terms of composition. No real bitterness here to speak of. It's actually actually um, quite sweet, but not the sweetness that you would encounter from like a sugary candy. It's more like molasses, if, if you can actually think about that, or even maple syrup. There's a slight tinge of coffee there, but nothing, nothing too big. And of course the prevalent aroma and taste that's there is actually cinnamon. It's very strong on its cinnamon, and, and you know what? It's it's good for that. It is wonderful. I am biased towards cinnamon. Give me cinnamon or give me death, I say. So, let's go ahead and rate this thing. It's easily a 4. Today, it is a 4.25. Churro, please. You are wonderful. And with that, let me go ahead and update the ticker. In case anybody's wondering, hey, what is this crazy nut drinking today? And why am I watching this? I should be doing something a little more productive, like, uh, I don't know, mowing the lawn or building a house. Uh, and I think that's it. So that's that. Let me know what you think about Churro, please. And let's go back to our game. Okay, so like I said, we are using Kornacht, the Adamant Rail. Right now, the only thing we have is the aspect of Hera, which allows us to, cap to load our cast into our attack. And that's good, because I feel like one of the things that I've experienced when I play this game is I often forget to use my cast, and I know that it is a very powerful tool, but I, I constantly just bounce between my attack and special, so being able to load it into my attack makes it actually better. Then we got the lightning strike, which uh, causes a chain lightning effect, and then we got the thunder signet, which allows uh, Zeus's blessing to be more powerful. Other than that, it's just us against the world. Uh, let's go meet Demeter. We love our Demeter. But before we do that, some healthy dihydrogen monoxide. Oh. I'm surprised. I gotta say, I feel like I walked into a middle, in the middle of a conversation or a thought process that I wasn't prepared for. Ah, oh, crystal beam. And see, this is probably one of my favorite casts because it literally is, you drop your cast and it just creates a beam in the middle of the screen. So I would generally get that. I wonder what happens if I choose this, given the fact that I have to load my uh, cast into my attack. 
But of course there's Demeter's Aid. And I do love Demeter's Aid. But Curiosity's killing me. I gotta choose this. Okay. Oh, ha. Huh. So it loads it into my attack, but it still launches it that way. So all in all, that was a good choice. Anything else in here? Anything ails in here? I made a pun there. So we could go to Charon, or we could get some keys. Let's try and alter this. Ah, gem sums, come on. What are you doing to me? Uh, let's just get them, I guess. I guess. I like these odds. Beautiful. <sighs> Ooh, nice. And a visit with our friend Sisyphus. Always a good lad. Churro, please. Who knows what time of day it is? I feel like uh, while on any given day I want to aspire to be more like Achilles, I am more of a Sisyphus. And maybe that's okay. And yet, the act of doing so for some interminable length of time appears to have imparted on him a certain kind of outlook on his life such as it is, one that I may well do study in my own ample amounts of time to spare. What happened? You know what, that's reason enough because we do love our friends. So it's either healing, don't need that today. Let's get some coin for our troubles. Uh, no gifts today, Boldy. Before I move on, give me just a second here. Aphrodite, 
I don't love Aphrodite. I'm sorry. Ah, there we go. That's a good lad. Oh, come on. Ooh, you're special and stronger and inflicts chill. That is, uh, I need to power up my special at some point, so this might be good. When you have no cast, you take less 10% less damage and deal more. And then you cast fires longer and inflicts chill. <sighs> Honestly, it's between... Hmm. This is a difficult one between special and um, cast. <sighs> Let's go with the cast. But I need to power up my special at some point. And here's hoping that I can find my friend Dionysus for it. And it occurs to me that because I am using this particular aspect, maybe I should switch my Mirror of Darkness to make it so that rather than have one single cast, I go back to the three that I had before. <clears throat> Since I can actually shoot out three different casts. Ooh, a duel. Trial of the Gods. Ooh, fish. And a hellfish. It's gotta be Zeus. And the only reason for that is kind of just the fact that I feel like his attacks on revenge might actually damage me more. You know what, that the reverse might be true. Let's go with a Demeter. Ooh, look at that. Your attack is stronger and inflicts chill. But I don't want to replace Lightning Strike. Special is stronger and inflicts chill. See, this is what I wanted before. Zeus, Zeus. How oh, well dad will say a lot of things.
Oh, come on. I'm just getting hit all over. Oh, wow. This has got to be my worst room yet. <sighs> wow. That was rough. <laughs> what? Uncle? It's gotta be Susan Said. <clears throat> nice, we have an aid now. It's always nice to have a little help every once in a while. Okay, so gems or keys. Uh, let's go for gems, I guess. That's the new, that's now what's in vogue. Like Madonna once said. Oop. How goes it indeed? The Earthan. Look at that. So I think we won that one. We probably won that one. I didn't actually check the score. I think we need some life essence. Anything else in this room? Ooh, hammer of Daedalus. Very tantalizing. Let's go for that. Oh, come on. Okay. Whew. That was a close one. So hold attacks to shoot rapidly, but you cannot power shot. Mm, okay, perfect shot. Your power shot is easier to execute and deals 150% damage. And it's also fated choice. Your special deals plus three da base damage for each consecutive hit to a foe. Let's go for the fated choice. And I wonder if there's just like a more for forgiving window. Nice, nice. Well, no matter what, I kind of just need some hearts here. Either that or dodge perfectly. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, I'm always tantalized by the mystery bag. It's gotta be the mystery bag. My blessing be with you. Your dash deals damage and can deflect. You begin each encounter with your god gauge partially full. That could be very useful. And after you take damage, damage foes around you and briefly deflect. Mm. Let's go with this. And aim for some added survivability here. Okay, I think we're set. I think we're good. Let's go. Who will it be? Ah, my favorite. Oof. Closer even still. allowed in the building I was hoping that I could get the greater call but I guess my damage meter never built up enough it's always quite the moment when I get the god gauge completely full all right what will it be next we could go with Poseidon, which I think, I think his boons are actually pretty solid. Aphrodite, saving her for last. Uh, and then this is uh, Hermes, plus one dodge chance and move speed each time you quickly clear an encounter. <clears throat> Let's go with Poseidon. I don't think we can buy anything, honestly. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. And I've said it a, a number of times before, but one of the things that I don't favor about Asphodel is just all the lava everywhere. Everything is a trap. It's very cumbersome.
Oof. And there it goes. So my lightning strike is higher. Uh, Zeus's aid. Gotta go for the flashiness here. Palm of power. Ooh, you ready to see? It's gotta be the faded meat. Everyone needs a good seller. Five hearts. <clears throat> the nymph Eurydice, born of the yoke itself, must know this better than most of her kind. She took a suitor who, by most accounts, was but a common mortal, talented beyond compare but not a god. Yet, all the love they shared could not keep death from tearing them apart. Something like that. Just like that. Well, I was going to end up here sooner or later. You might as well while I'm still looking good. Though I guess you do kind of get to lock in whatever age when you register. Bet everybody dying of old age pushed that one through. Now, if I was to lock an age when I pass away, twenty five is probably where I would set it. Uh, I feel like uh just a chance of Ambrosia Delight makes the most sense in general. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> she bears a special mention here for having almost fled the underworld once. Such was the full-hearted devotion of her mate that he did venture all the way into this realm in search of her, and treated with the master for her soul. They say the master almost let her go. So we powered up a couple of things. Our crystal beam is at epic. And so, so is our glacial glare, so is our lightning strike. If only we had something attached to our special though. That's really what I'm looking for. <sighs> Cheers to those who stood by us when we probably would not have done the same. What are you even doing? These guys are so mobile.
Oh, come on. And there he goes. Okay, so a gift from Poseidon. Or Charon shop. Let's go with Uncle Poseidon. Oh, and it's the boat. Ah. This is always a fun one. Nice. And we have landed. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I, I need to be one of these uh, awesome uncles, the cool uncle, you know? <sighs> kind of like Uncle Buck, if anybody ever saw that movie. Lord Hades seems to have no love for him, either, equating him to Zeus and shunning both alike. It's all a business best avoided by my estimation. I like the way you think. Tidal dash. Oh, I do love that. Hydraulic might, attack and special are stronger for the first 10 seconds of an encounter and own children's bounty. I do kind of just love how this thing just pushes everyone away. It's probably my favorite dash. Well, after, I guess, uh, Dionysus' dash. Oh, come on, I'm just eating it today. Seriously, I need a better shield. Down it goes. I 
I don't believe it's an actual secret, but sure, let's treat it that way. Attack is faster, and you can dash more times in a row. I like that your god gate charges up automatically. I don't know that I ever tried that. I like the greater, greatest reflex, though. It's the greatest reflex. And did I just hear fish? I wonder if fishermen actually hear like that ding every time they can catch a fish. And a slavug. And I need some health, quick. It's gotta be Zeus. Oh, come on, I just ate that. Move. Your lightning effects also make foes jolted, which is nice. After using a call, you deal more damage. That's solid. I'm gonna have to spam that call. <clears throat> Pump power, Charon, or Zeus. It's gotta be Zeus. I'm on my last legs on this particular life, but we'll do it. We gotta believe in the heart of the cards, you know? Oh. No challenge then. So you move even faster, special is faster, and you regen regenerate uh, cast faster. I feel like this might be the way to go. Okay, so I just gotta keep loading that up. Let's see if uh, learnings learned anything. It's got help. Oh, come on. There they come. Oh, wow. What are you even?
Let's do this. Oh, more of these. Oh wow, killed by a regular, a normie. <clears throat> nice. Down he goes. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream, JD274. Your favorite candy are crunch bars. Why is that? Do you like uh, particularly crunchy snacks? Are you a fan of potato chips? My, uh, my uh, candy bar of choice, as I was suggesting earlier, are Kit Kats. And I do enjoy their crunch. But I don't know that they're crunchy est. Look at that. Two uh, death defiances spent on that one fight. Which generally doesn't take a single one. I trust you had a pleasant stay in and that simply speaks to the fact that I need to learn my way better with the uh, heart seeking bow. Still leveling up the. Conch shell. <clears throat> Ooh, replenish one death defiance. I feel like we could do that, but there's a fair chance that we might meet Patroclus along the way. So, high risk, high reward. Your cast deals 50% more damage. Let's get out of here. I'm more of a... I'm guessing that's at the Steedos. Not that it's the Steedos, the Cheetos. It's one of those Edos ones. But chips are fine too. Doritos, that's what it is, Doritos. Master Chaos. I've been waiting for you. Let's go back from whence it all began. I have a loaded and cursed question for those who drink ales. Feel free to ask. You might not like the response. Oh, and there's a fishing spot. And we have a Mati. It swims endlessly against the currents of the sticks, which threaten constantly to drag it down deeper into this abyss. But it has strength enough to keep fighting against this. A mighty cup. <clears throat> Amaranth is working with this brewery. <laughs> That's a. Uh... Okay, I had no idea about that, uh, but it seems like there's a second part to your statement. You had me at brewery. Takes it upon himself to stop me in the event none of his underlings be to it. He can be a handful, 
Maybe, maybe so. Um, yes. Was I supposed to respond there? <sighs> that was a bit of a rhetorical question. So I'm thinking life total decreased by 47 and then attack is even stronger. Let's see. And there are a group of people who apparently can extract certain lactose bacilli from amaranth, in particularly sus locations. I, <laughs> uh, all I will say is that uh, lactobacillus can grow in a variety of locations and uh, that is all I will say. I have no knowledge of them growing on individuals. That is a possibility, but it is not a subject that I am proficient in. All that being said, uh, if you've been following this stream sufficiently long, uh, you will be aware of the fact that lactobacillus are a particular, a prominent uh, part, aspect, element of uh, kettle sour ales. So unless you're trying to brew a kettle sour, I don't know that that's going to help you. Let's go. Oh, come on. These children. Okay. And that was a very, very poor round. Let's see. I will stop there, lol. Thank you for that, Falco. This is a this is a family-friendly stream, uh, <laughs> or at, at the very least, we certainly try to keep it clean. So I, I appreciate your discreetness. Um, I think what Falco is trying to say is if Amaranth comes to you with a collab idea, you should hard pass. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm going to have to think about that. I don't know that why she would... Uh, Ever want to collab with uh, such a what do you what do you call it small streamers? But uh, you know, stranger things have happened. So let's just say that the keyword for me is beer before amaranth. So all right. So what's next? Uh, it's a hammer of Daedalus, and maybe let's do one more room, and we will call it there simply because I've got a. I've got to get on to more things. But yeah, let's go with the Hammer of Daedalus. I don't know that this run is going to go much further anyways. It clearly seems that I'm failing at dodging properly. And that might be because of the churro, please. Oh wow, this is indeed This thing is powerful Down it goes Okay Ooh, a Faded Choice, your attack deals 200 plus damage to distant foes. 
I think we'll go with that. <clears throat> and I think I think that is it for this particular run. Let's go with uh let's go with wide awake. Okay. So uh, that was the Ails and Fails Twitch stream for Friday, uh, whatever day of October it is. Uh, thank you very much for um, following, uh, viewing today. Very much appreciate your support. Here's hoping that you have an amazing weekend ahead of you. I think we've hot, fought hard enough. I think we've done enough to deserve um, some good times. Uh, if you like any of this nonsense, feel free to check out my schedule. I'll, I generally stream Thursdays and Fridays around this time. I'm in the middle of a Mega Man run, uh, some Hades, some Elden Ring, uh, depending on what the availability is. Once again, happy birthday to my uh, gentle boy, Bacon. Um, very much one of the biggest uh, boons of my life and certainly someone that I will never forget. But uh, rather than end on a dour note, <sighs> well, there's no way to end this without a dour note. This is the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. Let me just go ahead and say, stay thirsty, Alpac. Thank you very much, everyone. The first and last October 27, 2023 that I will ever have in my life. Indeed, you are right, Falco. Uh, have a great one, everyone. Stay thirsty. And we will see you again.